Hi, this is Magdalena from Email Octopus, and today I'll show you how to use segmentation. Segmentation allows you to send campaigns to a specific group of contacts rather than the whole list, allowing more accurate targeting of your content. To create a segment, go to the list where you'd like to make a segment and click on the Segments tab. Then click Create Segment. You can segment your list based on the following factors. Email address, for example, if you want to only send to Gmail or Hotmail subscribers. First or last name, helpful if you'd like to reach a specific person. Time added, for example, if you'd only like to target your newest subscribers. Last changed, if you'd like to send to contacts that you've recently updated. Source, if you'd like to send different content to subscribers added through a specific method, such as your landing page or import. Another segment, if you want to include or exclude people from a previously created segment. Campaign activity, if you'd like to target your contacts based on their recent engagement with your content, for example, by sending only to recent openers. Tags, if you'd like to contact people with or without a specific tag and merge fields. Here you'll find all the custom fields you created for that list. We have three available field types, text, number and date. Depending on the field type, you can use segmentation in various ways. For example, you can include contacts whose text values contain specific phrases, whose number fields are higher than the selected value, whose date field value is before a particular calendar day and more. Each of these options has a different set of operators and variables. Take your time to scroll through them and choose the best ones to create your desired segment. You can also select multiple conditions and add multiple filter groups, each set to match all, any or none of the selected conditions. Segments update automatically. If a new subscriber meets segment conditions, they'll get included in it. On the other hand, if existing contacts do something that would break the requirements, like opening an email in a segment for inactive contacts, they'll be removed from that segment. Finally, you can name your segment, click the Save button, and that's it. Your segment is ready to help you with better targeting of your campaigns. Thanks for watching and happy emailing!